number 67. This is more gameplay of Warframe on the PlayStation 4. Coming up on 35 minutes, we got a Vectus Barrel. This is a T3 defense that RJ Bryan and I ran through. And as you notice, I am using the Ash Prime leveling up. I was actually level 20, I want to say when I came into this after putting uh, my first Forma on Ash Prime and RJ was leveling up his Nyx Prime with a Forma I don't know at what point but we uh, both came into this with Warframes that we were working on leveling up and got carried away usually we just leave it 20 minutes but kinda got carried away and decided to just ride it on out to the 40 minute mark since for whatever reason this seemed ridiculously easy especially uh, for me with Ash Prime just spamming his ultimate every chance I get right here and making no sense whatsoever of the chaos that is happening on screen it's definitely a hectic looking thing when you teleport around and stand on people's shoulders and stab them in the face and the back of the head and the shoulders and the neck and the torso and the back and the arms and everywhere else that, that you feel like stabbing people pretty much with Ash Prime so I have said a few times now that I personally I think it would be cool if you actually kept your camera in the position of where you were and actually kind of watched this carnage unfold from the perspective of a stationary camera point as opposed to all of these clips bouncing back and forth half the time to be honest I don't even know what I'm looking at it's just like a close-up of somebody's elbow or something and you know it's just like here's this here's that I, you know ooh, there you go what was that there was somebody's butt I, you know thanks a lot for that there's you know I don't know what happened but everybody's dead so I guess that's what's important and that's what truly matters in Warframe best free-to-play game that I've ever encountered and just realized the other day I've sunk more than a thousand hours into this that sounds terrible to say I don't know why but uh, that's a lot of time but I think I've enjoyed pretty much all of it so yeah coming up in the next few videos I definitely will have record of myself passing the mastery rank 20 test finally had enough stuff in the game to achieve that so that felt awesome and then RJ and I hunted around and farmed for the Atlantis Vulcan mod which is the stance mod for the Ninkandi which are the nunchucks that just got added to the game so Ash Prime leveled up to level 28 so yeah I'm actually gonna get so much XP out of this that uh, I almost would have had enough to completely have leveled up a Warframe from 0 to 30 um, but of course I was not zero when I came in this. I was level 20. I was just on the roof right there. I'm, I don't know what's happening here. This is a really cool ability for Ash. I, I have such mixed feelings about it. I love using it. It's On the one hand, it's fun to watch, but on the other hand, it's almost too hectic and too choppy. It's like a really, really bad, badly edited action movie. You know, where it's like, I don't really know what's happening. I saw somebody punch somebody. I saw a close-up of somebody's foot. Uh, you know, I heard a bunch of noises. And now all the bad guys are knocked out. But I didn't really see a fight scene. I'm not sure what just happened. And, yeah. I would like to be able to watch this from, like, an outside perspective. Not going to be able to revive your RJ. Um, but, of course, we... That was just part of the thing here. I knew I would have definitely died if I was not spamming this ability and taking advantage of the invincibility duration of it. So that was always fun. But yeah, we got the nunchucks in the most recent update. And I've actually already put a forma on those now that I've got a stance mod for them. And kind of like those. I got mine modded for magnetic damage since they start off with nothing but electricity damage. And I tacked on a little bit of cold and buffed them up to magnetic because that was my preference. So we're at 19 and a half, not 19, <laughs> 39 and a half minutes now. Would be 19 and a half if we were only going to 20. Basically what I'm trying to say is we got 30 seconds left before we're probably going to leave. So I'm going to go ahead and head to the exit here. And you notice that our life support is still well over 80 and this was like right 
prior to the last update that made some changes to survival but I haven't noticed how those changes really affect anything so I, I mean I'm cool with that but yep uh what is that a bow prom blueprint yay whatever weren't doing this quite so much for the rewards as we were just because it's enjoyable I like to do some void survivals I actually do a lot of void survivals when I'm leveling stuff up now it's kind of my my personal preference for leveling things up right now so still stabbing and kicking people in the face and extreme close-ups and other things that i'm not quite sure what's happening and bam i got knocked down rj's bleeding out i need to go meet hop up here and get out of here before i die as well and yes if you add up my xp and my bonus xp it is over 800,000 it only takes 900,000 to completely level up a warframe so that's ridiculous 1400 kills but it was fun and that's the bottom line that's what video games are about you're supposed to be able to just kick back and enjoy yourself or if not then I don't know why you're playing so try not to get stressed out and thanks for watching the video